Absalom and we're gonna destroy the C4 bomb we made so C4 clone comma wait literally five seconds before it destroys itself now let's go up to C4 explosion and uh, we want to instantiate the explosion at our C4 clone so I'm gonna say yield wait four seconds open bracket close bracket closing semicolon we want to wait 4.9 seconds as well before the explosion starts and then I'm gonna say far exp short for explosion explosion um, part so that's the explosion and we're gonna instantiate that open bracket now we're gonna instantiate the explosion which was C4 explosion oops that wasn't it I keep forgetting the names wow C4 explosion where is it explosion C4 <laughs> I was saying the wrong way around okay now we need to position this and we're gonna position this explosion on the instantiated C4 so we're gonna say look for game object dot find open bracket close bracket and we're gonna say look for oh, what I call my C4 let me just double check C4 bomb okay we're gonna say look for C4 bomb open bracket close bracket clone dot transform dot position comma you can copy that line from game object paste it here and change position to rotation and close in bracket and then we're gonna wait nine um, three seconds before the explosion destroys itself so destroy open bracket and I'm gonna say exp part comma three seconds that destroys the explosion and then we have to call the explosion in this so we're gonna say c4 bomb sound open bracket close bracket we're gonna call that and we're gonna call c4 explosion open bracket close bracket closing semicolon copy this and paste it for the untagged one as well save it now let's set the input key for this so go to the update function and we're gonna paste the inputs for that over here so we're gonna say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace closing curly brace <clears throat> if gun select manager is equals equal to gun manager dot c4 we want c4 more to be enabled so we're gonna say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace closing curly brace c4 timer is equals equal to zero we can apply the c4 if open bracket close bracket open curly brace closing curly brace input dot get key no get mouse button sorry open bracket close bracket zero and and number of c4s so that basically says make sure we have three bombs before we can plant any if we don't have any then this function won't work itself all right, and then we're going to call the c4 function so c4 bomb function i think i call it yes i did open my close bracket closing semicolon and then all i'm going to say is c4 timer is going to be equal to c4 cooler that's that done and just about
and one more thing left to do go to function awake copy this paste that in there change hand to c4 if we have c4 equipped then both of them should be false so you should see nothing but at the moment I've got no C4 hand set up so at the moment we're going to see nothing and the last part is in the update itself we have to make sure the C4 timer and cooler can't go above zero so over here we're going to say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace closing curly brace if open bracket close bracket open curly brace closing curly brace I'm gonna say if C4 timer is greater than zero then C4 timer minus equals time dot delta time copy that paste it in there put that to minus not minus, sorry, less than. And then copy that. Put it in there. Put that as zero. And close the semicolon. You copy these two statements. Paste them there. And change this to number of C4s. And we're going to say if number of C4 is greater than three, then number of C4s are going to be equal to three. And a simple check down here we're just gonna say if number of C4s oops sorry that's the wrong line number of C4s should be here and there and we're gonna say if number of C4 is less than zero and put that zero and just replace C4 timer with number of C4s and that pretty much concludes C4 let's see if this works just updating oh there's one mistake Where are we? C4 clone. Oh, sorry. This is supposed to be transform, not point. So you want to change this one as well? All right. Let's go back. See if it goes away. The name's taken already. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, for the untagged one, you don't need var because it's been used over here and it knows what it's looking for. Save that and that should get rid of that too. Yep. Now go to the script and attach the missing components. So main camera. We want the explosion, so explosion. I don't know which one it is. I've got to look for the right one. That's the one. Explosion is going to go in there. C4 sound. It's one of these. I think it's grenade explode. That's the one near explosion. And then finally, the C4 itself. So C4 over here. Save it. And let's see if it works. So we're going to change to C4. <laughs> which we can't because I didn't even set the key for that yet. <laughs> I just realized that as soon as I start the game, I was like, oops. Okay, this is where we got to set the key for that. So copy that, paste it in there. If you press R for three, we can change to C4. And then we're going to set this to C4 as well. And that to false. Save it. Let's try now. So I press three. There you go. There's no hands available. There's no 
gun. So if I go to wall, which is this, and I press my key. Okay, why did it play the sound before it even got attached? Alright, there's a little glitch in that script somewhere. It's most likely in the key press itself. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's in the function that means. Where is the function got now? Okay, here we are. There we go. C4 seconds. I am such an idiot. Sorry. That's got to be C4 sec. That's why it was exploding before we placed the bomb. The sound, sorry. Save that. Go into Unity, let it update. And there we go. So I press 3. There we go, and it applied the force as you can see, and that's a very tiny C4. Let's change the size on that for a second. Update that, and delete it from here, and let's play that one more time. And let's see if we can place the C4 more than three times, which we're not allowed to do, so. One, two, three, that's it. There we go. That's how you implement C4 into the Ray Shoot script, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next tutorial where we'll be covering grenades. Pretty much identical.